It looks like Jennifer Lawrence will be starring in Sony Pictures' Merida. Merida is the story of Merida Lorenz, who was involved in an affair with Cuban dictator Fidel Castro and was part of the plot to assassinate him. Schnett Byers saw the sound of Merida. I'm buying the sound of Marita. <laughs> I think it, it's a, it sounds like a really great, intriguing storyline, and getting her to be involved and be the lead actress is a coup. I think she's an incredible actress, so I buy it. I buy it as well. I certainly buy it for the premise. Um, and I wonder, and this is it's not, no fault of her own, but I I wonder if I'm getting a little fatigued with Jennifer Lawrence. Um, and, and again, she's, she's great. She's good in everything that she's done. I think that I don't think she deserves to be nominated in Joy. Um, I think that Joy, for some, every time she does a movie in this time, they're, they're just giving her Oscar nominations because there are a lot of better actresses, I think, this round of the Oscars that should have been nominated. Charlize Theron for Fury Road that's, well, should have been in that's there. That's what I mean. So I just, and, but I like Jennifer Lawrence. I just wonder because it's like every... The rotation. It's like, okay, now this girl, this girl, and Jennifer Lawrence. So this, Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lawrence. I wonder if I'm getting fatigued. But the story itself, the movie itself sounds pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You got to tell me who's playing Castro before I totally sign off on this movie. But yeah. her as a talent and a premise like this, totally bite. I thought she was great in Joy. Like, like it nominated worthy. She, if she wasn't top five, she was top ten of the year for me in the best lead female. So she deserves most of the recognition that she has got because she can play a variety of roles and it sounds like you're gonna have to incorporate a lot of those skills into something like this but again we haven't been to cuba that much like, like we don't know that much about this world and fidel castro and right. the only thing i know about fidel castro other than the dictator stuff is that he had to try out with the washington senators in like the late si <laughs> early true? 60s yeah he had wow. to try yeah if the senators gave him a job Point. He might never have been the dictator that we know and probably don't like today. So I want to see more about that dude's personal life. And I think her as a vehicle to tell that story would be absolutely breathtaking. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.